How Shiva Symbols Reveal the Secrets of the Universe Hello, and welcome to Science Telly, the channel where we explore the fascinating world of science and spirituality. In this video, we're going to talk about Shiva, one of the most prominent gods of the Hindu pantheon. We're going to look at some of the scientific aspects and symbolism behind his appearance, attributes, and actions. We're going to see how Shiva represents the cosmic energy that pervades the universe and how he is connected to various aspects of life, death, and beyond. Who is Shiva? Shiva is one of the three supreme deities of Hinduism, along with Brahma and Vishnu. He is known as the Destroyer or the Transformer, as he is responsible for the dissolution and recreation of the universe. He is also known as Mahadev, or the Great God, as he is considered to be the origin and source of everything. He is worshipped in various forms, such as a lingam, a phallic symbol, a nataraja, a cosmic dancer, or an ardhanarishwara, a half-male half-female form. Shiva is often depicted as a blue-skinned ascetic with a third eye on his forehead, a crescent moon on his head, a snake around his neck, a trident in his hand, and a bowl as his mount. He also has long matted hair from which the river Ganga flows. Each of these features has a scientific and spiritual significance that we will explore in this video. What are some scientific aspects of Shiva? 1. Shiva's Third Eye and Pineal Gland Shiva's third eye is one of his most distinctive features. It is said that he can open his third eye to unleash a powerful beam of fire that can destroy anything in its path. This is how he burned Kamadeva, the god of love, to ashes when he tried to distract him from his meditation. The third eye is also associated with the pineal gland, a small endocrine gland located in the center of the brain. The pineal gland produces melatonin, a hormone that regulates the sleep-wake cycle and circadian rhythms. It also secretes dimethyltryptamine, DMT, a psychedelic compound that can induce altered states of consciousness and mystical experiences. The pineal gland is considered to be the seat of intuition, imagination, and wisdom. It is also linked to the sixth chakra, or the third eye chakra, which is responsible for vision, perception, insight, and psychic abilities. Some people believe that by activating the pineal gland and opening the third eye chakra, one can attain higher levels of awareness and enlightenment. 2. Shiva's Crescent Moon and Lunar Cycles Shiva wears a crescent moon on his head as an ornament. The moon represents his cool and calm nature, as well as his control over time. The moon also symbolizes the mind, emotions, and cycles of life. The moon has a significant impact on life on Earth. It affects the tides, seasons, weather, plants, animals, and humans. The moon phases influence the biological rhythms and hormonal fluctuations of living beings. The moon also affects the mood, behavior, and mental health of people. The lunar cycle consists of 28 days, which corresponds to the menstrual cycle of women. The lunar cycle also has four phases, new moon, waxing moon, full moon, and waning moon. Each phase has its own characteristics and effects on life. The new moon is a time of new beginnings, renewal, and intention setting. The waxing moon is a time of growth, expansion, and manifestation. The full moon is a time of culmination, illumination, and celebration. The waning moon is a time of release, cleansing, and reflection. By aligning oneself with the lunar cycle, one can harness its energy and optimize one's well-being and potential. 3. Shiva's Snake and Vishuddhi Chakra Shiva wears a snake around his neck as a garland. The snake represents his power over death and rebirth. The snake also symbolizes his mastery over Kundalini Shakti, the primal energy that lies dormant at the base of the spine. When this energy is awakened and rises through the seven chakras, it leads to spiritual awakening and liberation. The snake around Shiva's neck is also associated with the Vishuddhi Chakra, or the Throat Chakra. This chakra is located in the pit of your throat and governs communication, expression, truth, and authenticity. It also regulates the thyroid gland, the metabolism, and the immune system. The Vishuddhi Chakra is also known as the Filter Chakra, as it filters out the toxins and impurities that enter the body and mind. It also filters out the negative thoughts, emotions, and energies that can poison one's life. When the Vishuddhi Chakra is balanced and open, one can speak and listen with honesty and clarity. 
One can express oneself freely and creatively. One can have a strong sense of identity and purpose. One can have a harmonious communication with oneself and others. When the Vishuddhi chakra is imbalanced or blocked, one may feel shy or timid. One may have difficulty speaking one's truth or expressing one's needs. One may lie or manipulate others with one's words. One may have a fear of being judged or rejected. One may have problems with sore throat, laryngitis, ear infections, thyroid issues, or neck pain. To balance the Vishuddhi chakra, one can practice throat-stimulating poses like shoulder stand, plow pose, lion pose, or fish pose. One can eat blue foods like blueberries, blackberries, grapes, or plums. One can wear or carry blue stones like turquoise, lapis lazuli, sodalite, or aquamarine. One can repeat affirmations like, I speak my truth with confidence, I listen with compassion and understanding, I express myself creatively and authentically, or, I communicate harmoniously with myself and others. These are some of the scientific aspects of Shiva that show how he represents the cosmic energy that pervades the universe. There are many more aspects of Shiva that we can explore in future videos, such as his trident, his bowl, his dance, his lingam, and his consort Parvati. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Also, feel free to share your thoughts and experiences with Shiva in the comments below. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Science Telly.